The fastest way to turn MIDI into audio in Ableton Live is to use the freeze track command. In this tutorial, I wanna show you step-by-step -step how to freeze audio in Ableton Live. It's really, really simple, but share some bonus tips that I think will help uh, when you're working with MIDI and wanting to turn it into audio in Ableton Live. So I've got my Ableton Live set open here. This is an original song I created uh, and it's full of MIDI tracks. I've got some loops, I've got some samples, uh, but in particular, I have this one MIDI track here that is a collision instrument, which is an instrument built in Ableton Live. I've got a bunch of audio devices and I wanna turn this, convert this into audio. Now I could definitely export this out. I could use the export options in Ableton Live to export an audio track to then bring it back in, but I wanna do this really quickly. And so we're gonna stay in my set and freeze my track. So to freeze a track in Ableton Live, like I said, very simple to do, right click on the device title bar here and choose freeze track. So that's gonna freeze, it's gonna happen faster than real time, which basically means if your song is four minutes long, it's not gonna take four minutes long. Um, and it's gonna just uh, basically render in place. If you've used another DAW before, that basically means it's gonna start at the beginning of your arrangement, go to the end and create and render a file. So we'll wait for this to finish up. You'll hear a sound here in a second right, a pop or something if it's got reverb, uh, as soon as that's done, uh, that track is frozen. Now what's really, really nice about this is that basically means the, the MIDI is still there. So let's look at our Ableton set. My All my MIDI devices are still there. Now I can't adjust them because they are frozen in time essentially because I froze my track, but my MIDI is there if I need to go back and make adjustments. But this could be really helpful to save CPU. This could be really helpful to um, collaborate with someone else if you've got a plugin that they don't have. Consider freezing your tracks before you Send that to your collaborators. But I wanna take it a step further. I wanna show you a couple other uh, of my favorite tricks when I'm working with MIDI converting it to audio in Ableton Live. But before I do that, I want you to consider subscribing. Every single day, 10 a.m. Central on the channel, I post a brand new tutorial like this. A lot of times we talk about performing on stage with Ableton Live. If you're into that sort of content, if you like using Ableton Live, then hit the subscribe button and enable the bell icon so you see exactly when I go live. Now let's go back to our track here. Um, again, I can edit my MIDI stuff at this point. This is super helpful. But what if we want to turn this into audio, but I still want to have the ability to tweak and adjust my uh, MIDI if I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new audio track here, Command-T. That's Control-T if you're on a PC. And I want to select this last MIDI clip here and this beginning MIDI clip. So I held Shift to go from the beginning to the end. And I'm going to hold the Alt Option key on my keyboard and click and drag. And I'm going to drag down to this bottom clip. And what you'll see is when I do that, I suddenly have audio tracks, right? Audio clips that are in this audio track here that's rendered. So then what I could do is I could leave this track frozen and I could go ahead and turn this off so I'm not using CPU up. And because this is frozen, this track is just gonna live here. Maybe I call this like original MIDI, right? And I have this, uh, this audio version of this uh, later in my track. Now that's super helpful again if you uh, aren't ready to commit quite yet and sometimes that's a good thing. But if you know, okay, this is the, the, the final version of this. I know that um, I'm ready to commit. I know that this is the final audio. Let's take it a step further. So I'm gonna delete this track. Let's say I just wanna take this frozen track here and I wanna turn this whole track into audio, I wanna replace it. Then I can right click here and I can do flatten track. And when I flatten track, it's basically gonna get rid of all that MIDI information and just leave me with audio. Now I would highly suggest you do a save as to duplicate your file so that you still have that MIDI laying around somewhere because even though you know you're ready to commit, at some point in time, you're gonna to have to go back and tweak that. But those are two really helpful commands, both freeze track and flatten track, that will help you use MIDI and turn MIDI into audio in Ableton Live in a way that's super uh, flexible and works really quickly. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Remember, hit that subscribe button. See you next time, bye.